guys and gals, it's Double Beam Willie Virtual back here again with another installment of WGS TV right here on the WGS YouTube channel. Now, I didn't think I'd be making a video again this quickly, but um, as I was uploading the Yu Gi Oh cards uh, video, I came across this story of we all know Melina got released as of Friday, August 5th, and she was attempting to get in backstage to Monday Night Raw last night. Now, of course, you know, John Morrison's her boyfriend when she's not banging every able living body man backstage. But security was told not to let her in, and I think that was a good idea. You know, I know a lot of Melina fans are out there, you know, they're outraged about this, but, you know, if you're let go from the company, and then two days later, or three days later, rather, you were trying to get in backstage to that very same company after you've been fired. It kind of, I think it kind of develops and, you know, it kind of gives you an, an awkward feeling towards it. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, other people's, you know, their boyfriends or their spouses or whatever have been allowed backstage, you know, whether they're an employee of the WWE or not. But I believe this stems from uh, the issues that John Morrison and uh, Melina were having about WrestleMania. Um, everybody knows, you know, one of the huge stories is that John Morrison wanted Melina in the WrestleMania match instead of Trish Stratus. And then, um, ever since then, you know, uh, John Morrison's been getting the cold shoulder. And where it is with all the heat that he's getting right now, his contract, you know, his contract's scheduled to go out. I'm not sure when, but and quite soon. You know, if he doesn't start getting the heat off of, off of him, WWE's not going to resign John Morrison. So this is just... You know, Melina, you know, I have a lot of respect for her, you know, talent-wise. You know, very talented diva. She can wrestle, too, but she also needs to learn to take a hint. You're not with the WWE anymore, and you shouldn't be backstage. You can, you know... I really don't know what else to say about this, guys. I mean, you know, what kind of attention, you know, what kind of a situation would develop with not just the Divas, but everybody backstage? You know, like, hey, I got fired yesterday, but I'm still going to come here and talk with you guys, even though I shouldn't be. You know, if you're fired from a company, you should not be there. Because, again, you're creating all kinds of f friction and heat, especially on John Morrison. You know, Melina's fired. She should start worrying about her own career, even though she, you know, like I said, when she's not banging every, uh, every red-blooded American man who's living and breathing today. I'm not going to name names. A lot of people know names. I'm not going to name names. But when she's not banging those kinds of guys, you know, she's with John Morrison. And the way it looks like, you know, they may, quote, love each other. But if things don't start changing, you know, Melina's not going to not only tarnish her career, she's also going to tarnish john morrison's career because this again all of this problem all of these issues stem back to the fact that john morrison had a fuss about the fact that trish stratus was in the wrestlemania match and with snooki and her and instead of melina being in the match and then trish stratus just gave him the cold shoulder and she got bitchy about it. And then ever since then, it's just been a, a slow downhill dive 
for not only Morrison, but Melina. I mean, Melina was big into the company, then she started bitching about WrestleMania, and then all of a sudden, she slowly faded into obscurity. And John Morrison, right now, is he headed down that very same path, that slow downward spiral into obscurity. And he needs to do either one of two things. Either one, kick Melina to the curve, or two, tell, tell her that she can't come backstage anymore because security won't let her. And I, I'd hate to see this happen to John Morrison, guys. You know, I, I really hated the fact that they let Melina go because she's such a fantastic talent. But I believe when you think about it, I think it has a lot to do with backstage politics is what it has to, when it comes down to it, you know, is, you know, all the BS, red tape, B, uh, political aspects of professional wrestling, you know, the stuff that you don't see backstage, you know, a lot of that has to come into the equation when you factor that in when it comes to not only the situation involving Molina, but, you know, where John Morrison is headed to. Because, like I said, I am a big Morrison fan, you know. I, I believe he's an incredible talent. But if things, like I said, if they don't change for Morrison, if he doesn't start getting this heat off of him, he'll be done in the WWE before we know it. Because WWE is not going to want to any, have anything to do with him, considering the fact they they caused this uproar over him, Molina, and Trish Stratus. So... That's pretty much all I got to say on the subject involving Melina and John Morrison. Guys, I want to get your thoughts on it. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Every subscriber and every subscription to my channel is greatly appreciated. So, until then, I'm Double B Bully Boudreaux. Thank you very much for watching.